at Utah State. Dennis Gates, his first year at Missouri. Brian O'Connell, Thomas Nunez, Rob Rourke, our officials, and we are underway. Carter rims out of three, and Ashworth for the rebound. If you saw what happened as soon as Kobe Brown caught that ball, Utah State came with a quick double team as you see the nice floater there inside. And going back to the defensive strategy for Utah State, I love the fact that they're doubling Kobe Brown. Do not allow a team to beat you with their best player. Carter will take it inside. Wow. No doubt about that one. He'll go with a rebound. Ahead. Got a look. Nice drive and transition. Funk off to a four-point start. Good start for Funk. And he's gotten down the lane twice, but even though he's got down the lane, don't forget this young man has deep three-point range. NBA rank. Carter, a second three-pointer. This one goes. Shot didn't go down, but I still like that possession. Nice little driving kick to Funk, and that's where it oh, Missouri again attacking the basket. Yesterday. Yeah, you were shocked at that. Yeah, most of the time when you go through these type of situations the day before a game in the NCAA tournament, as you see a nice drive right there. Defensive possession Utah State's had today. Yep. Again, sloppy pass. Another Aggie turnover. Three ball go. Hello. Five and a half minutes into the game. And this isn't normally what Missouri does. Missouri normally allows teams to hit 35% from three. That's 284th in the nation. So the fact that they realize that as we see the nice quick buck in the side. John East now running things from the point. Much bigger point guard is Kobe Brown backing in on Atkins and score it. Ooh, that's a weight room bucket right there, Brad. Post play has gone away. I said not completely. People act like post-ups are dirty work nowadays <laughs> in today's, today's game of basketball. Oh, some elbows flying in there, and Aiken, both against Aiken, or both with Aiken working against him. Oh, nice lead by the baseline, Ellen Rock. Good look by Bearston. We're seeing Utah State make the adjustment, okay? You're going to press up and heavy pressure is behind the three-point line? Watch us work. We're going to the basket. Got to be careful. Brown backs away and takes a medium jumper and got that. That's exactly what Mizzou wants. Long step by Golston. Rebound loose. Golston again. And what a play by Hodge. You know who else knows that? It looks like Missouri. Absolutely. <laughs> Mizzou is not playing around with their three-point line defense right now. Nice inside move by Bearston. And that's what you have to do. When you have a team that's potent from three, make them beat you with two. Hodge outside. Three guys. This guy shoots over 40%. A team that comes in with 323s on the year, expect that to be a big part of their offense. It has not been. They haven't hit one yet. Atkin, this guy's strong, though. Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent drive right there. Golston on the dribble. They switch off on him. Six on the shot clock. His drive wow. swatted out of there by Funk. And then finishing the playoff. With an impressive block. And a quick substitution as Akin will go out and Trevin Dorius, the 7 1 center, will come back in with just one second on the shot clock. Ashley trying to get free. Got it to show that the elbow. And tip up and in. Sure, if they're going to give that. Lobs it underneath. Nice pass on the entry and score it for Tevin, Trevin Dorius. Defense by Utah State. Switch off on Golston Carter. Trying to back his way into the paint. Drop step and then turn. Ooh. Ooh. That's good footwork down there. Ahead Ashworth. One more. Oh. And a finish by Bearstow. That'll get you out of your seat. Idle Rock. Oh, he wanted to get it down to Aiken on the baseline. And Aiken still asking for it. Shulga up and under. Great drive right there. Pretty much that's what we've seen in the last couple of days from him. Approaching the two-minute mark. This guy's still looking for a field goal and finally got one. There you go. Six on the shot clock. Back out to Kobe. Jumper. Go! Hello. That young man knows what time it is. Ashworth likes this matchup right here against Carter. Clear it out of there. Didn't need the screen. Yeah. There you go. Found the baseline with the left hand. So both his shots have come at the glass. And timeout. Oh, wow. Nice pass. Hello. And Carter just hammers it home. Almost two minutes into the second half. Same score we had at the break. 35-21. 
Funk. Pull up. Got it. Taylor Funk. First basket of the second half. Eight for the game. Ashworth. Can he get the loose ball? There we go. There we go. Oh. As we see the turnover right there. And Hodge didn't get that turnover as he gets the layup. But his ball pressure forced that. Down low. Kobe Brown throwing a shoulder. Leaves it down low on the baseline. A double team and score it. Funk goes straight up with it. Hello. Delivers. Taylor Funk. Golston working the left side, trying to back his way through traffic, and somehow snuck that big body through there. But this is the matchup, though. This is the matchup. You see him waving his teammates out of there. He knows he can take Carter. Carter doesn't have the foot speed. Funk has to clear that out. He's going to take the three anyway. It's way off. But the follow is good by Funk. Brown. Funk cuts him off. Extra pass to Hodge for three. Got it. He's 40% from out there. Final little opening note. Not quite enough time. And up and. Quick double team on the block. Golston, he's in some traffic too and had it swatted out of there by Funk. Missouri turns it over. And the dish is attacking by Ashworth. East trying to get through Funk with a left hand and did. Rebound comes off the bear step. Second chance for the Aggies. And another scoop shot. This one by Shulga. They're still finding ways to get good shots. I and see a turnover Missouri right there by Missouri. They got numbers. They got Atkins. Hello. Atkins getting active. They're still picked up his dribble and then threw it away. Brown with a steal. Oh, oh my goodness. Hoopy goes baseline and hammers it on Atkins. I like what I'm seeing here, partner. The quick spin on the baseline and then throw and then put it in reverse. Oh my goodness. Akin has an answer down low. Got the same guy on him. Akin defensively. He's going to go straight up with a three. Got it. Is there anything this young man can't do? No, I don't think so. Look at Akin's defense, though. Counting Brown all around the court. He's going to backpedal and take another triple. Got another one. Good defense, better offense. Let's see if the Aggies have an answer on the other end. Nice feed by Beristow inside Idle Rock. And Idle Rock. His first basket of the second half. East the kick out. Brown a three. Got another one. Hodge gets it back to Carter. Hunter. Guy fell down defensively at left Hodge. Open. Uh -oh. There's still the kick out to Funk. He's wide open. Got it. Working against number 10. Should be a mismatch. But oh. Hunter steals it from it. Oh, my goodness. You got the number for Crime Stoppers? Whew. And Hodge on the other end. What about that for moment? Free throws. So inbound comes Free the track. double team on Ashworth. He finally got it back. Got an open look. And got it. Five to shoot. East on the drive. And he got it. Didn't look like it was going to be a great shot, but it turned out just fine. Underneath, good look. There's still an easy one. His first basket of the second half. You did win. Where you want to go to dinner at? I don't know yet. Honor, inbound. Oh, got it. Three. Three. Wow. Ashworth tries another. This one's off the mark, too. Kept alive by Barristow. He'll go back up with it and score. 0.5 seconds difference between the game shot of the uh, game clock and the shot clock. There's still a little runner. Acting underneath. Tigers of the SEC will advance. The star is just dribbling it out with his teammate. Those two guys were pretty special. Hodge and Brown, and they'll advance.